Okay, step one as always, let's tape our page down nice and straight. I'm just lining up the page edge with the T-square and taping down all my corners. And then laying out my title block. So I'm going to measure a quarter inch, quarter inch, half inch up from that. We know the drill by now, hopefully. And whoops, it looks like I clearly didn't have my triangle flat against my T-square. So look how wonky that line came up at the top at first. Okay. That's why we have erasers. And then we'll just lay this out. Four, three, two, one and a half. Okay. So again, the way I like to do my isometrics is I pick a place kind of towards the bottom right-ish as a little starting point for my three axes. And then I'll go for my depth my length and my height. Um, if my object was where maybe, you know, the side view was a bit or had a longer depth than the front view, then I might start like over here. It kind of depends on the shape, but since all in all of these shapes, I can see that that front view is clearly longer. I want to kind of start more towards the right side of the sheet. But anyway, I digress. I'll just start by making a bounding box of the whole shape. So I have an overall length of four. So I'm just gonna measure over four. I have an overall depth of one and a half. And an overall height of two. Two and a half, actually, yes, two and a half. And so I'm just going to kind of mark out where those points are and just create an overall box of the shape and then use the subtractive method to cut it into the actual shape itself. So I kind of think of it almost like a big block of marble where I'm just kind of chiseling away or cutting out the different parts of my drawing, and I'm stuck on the tape there. Always making sure my T-square is flat against the board and my triangle's flat against my T-square. So I have that overall bounding box of the shape, and then I'm just gonna kinda go carve out the different features that exist in the front view. So in the front view, we've got this little ledge here that's three quarters of an inch up. The reason why the dimension is written outside of those the, the little dimension lines, the little arrows, is just because it can't fit comfortably inside that small space. So that's why they have it kind of oriented outside. But three quarters of an inch up, I'm just gonna make a little mark 
And then over here, it's three and a quarters inch is how long this edge is, which would make this also three quarters. So I'm just going to measure three quarters, make a little mark. And just like with the door stop and with the orthographics we did that have angles, I don't necessarily know what this angle is, but I also don't need to because all I need to do is just locate to the endpoints. And I'm sorry for the glare, but I just need to locate where those endpoints are and connect the dots. And then I have what that angle would be in the isometric. Now it does just go in the top, just flat back. So I'm going to add 30 degrees where that point is. Just go flat across. Same thing here is that this edge just goes flat across the whole thing. So I'll go 30 degrees. And then again, I don't know why that tape in that corner won't stay down. And then again, I'm just going to connect the dots. And then just erase kind of that bounding box of the part that would get cut out of the object. And there I have this gauge block as an isometric. So I'll fill in my title block, neat, all caps, gauge block. your name, the date that you drew this on, the scale, which we did this one one to one, one inch on paper is one inch in real life, and how many drawings are associated with this one. So this is drawing one of one.